Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the largest odd number in a string problem. It is a lead code easy and the number for this is 1903. So in this problem we are given with a string num and this string nums represent a large integer. And in the problem we have to return the largest value odd integer from the string nums that is a non empty substring of the nums. And if there are no odd elements in the string we have to return an empty string. So, as you all must be knowing, a substring is a contiguous sequence of characters. So, let's see what the question is asking through examples. Suppose we have example 1 num equal to 52. So, in this, the largest possible odd number is 5 because only two elements, uh, two characters are there. So, if you remove the odd one, we have only 5. Now, let's come to the other input. It is 2406. So, in this, there is no odd element. We have to return empty string. And in the last example, the current string itself has is uh, odd. So we are, we can return the entire string because this will be the, will be the largest uh, number which is possible. So yeah. So how we are going to solve this? Let's see. So we are going to iterate through the string from the right to the left. And if the last digit is odd, we are going to return the entire string as it is because it is the already the largest odd number. And if the last, uh, last digit is even, we are going to keep moving until an odd digit is found. And we'll return that substring of the uh, from the beginning to the string where we found the first odd uh, digit. So let's see through dry run. So for the sample input 1, 5, 2, we are going to check the last digit. Is it odd? No, it is not odd. So we will move the index to the left. So we get the current substring as 5. Is the last digit odd? Yes, it is return. Now let's see for an example 3546. So initially the current substring is 3546. Large digit is 6. Is it odd? No. Move the move the right index to the left, one point left. So the current substring becomes 354. Large digit 4. Is, is it odd? No. Move left. Then we have a current sub substring as 35. Large digit is 5. Yes, it is 5. Uh, is it odd? Yes, it is odd. Returns 35. So this is how we are going to solve. Now let's come to the code section. But before that, do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So let's start with the coding section. So first of all, we'll check for the current string. If it is odd, we can return it simply. So for that, we need to convert num dot char at num dot length minus one so this is the last character of the current string and we have converted it into the int so let's see if mod two equal equal to one we can simply return the num otherwise we are going to define a right pointer since we know that if we reach till the statement this means the last uh, element is not uh, odd it is even so we need to do a length minus one here so while i is greater than equal to zero int n equal to num dot care at i and if n mod 2 equal equal to 1 we return the num dot substring 0 to i plus 1 because we are doing this i plus 1 because the last um, in the substring function the last index which we are given is not included that's why we have to do a i plus plus or i plus 1 then we are going to remove the decrement the pointer because if it is odd we are going to de decrement and here we can return empty string because if there had been an answer it would be returned by here if there is no answer it will be returned by here so let's see 
if it runs for the sample test cases mm, this is nums passes for the sample test cases let's run for the hidden test cases as well passes with a good time complexity and good memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1 and time complexity is O of n because we are iterating over the, all the characters of the string and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space. So this was my solution. If you want to check the C++ Python and JavaScript code you can go in the solutions panel and check this solution. This is my solution. You can read the explanation here also the intuition approach. See the Java code, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, do upload the solution. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. I hope you liked it, shared it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.